Hello Makers! Welcome back to 3D Maker Noob. I'm Joe and today we're going to cover another awesome creation. This time is the Northern Lights Lamp by Polyalchemy. Stick around! Welcome back makers. So as you probably know, about a month ago I did a filament review uh, video on Polyalchemy Elixir. Now while that video was showing, uh, Polyalchemy decided to do another sale on their filaments. So I decided to invest and buy a few more spools. Now knowing that the Sigma was on its way to me, I decided to buy a couple of spools in 2.85 millimeters as well. I also reached out to Judd, who is the owner of Polyalchemy, and I had seen on Twitter that he had posted a video of this absolutely awesome lamp that he printed with the Elixir Natural. I asked him if it's okay for me to review this, uh, this lamp, and he absolutely obliged. Not only that, he kind of helped me out by sending me the SDL files, which are also available on Thingiverse, which I will link in the description. And he also helped me out by sending me the LED lights and electronics that goes into making this absolutely awesome lamp. Before I go into more detail, let's see a time lapse, shall we? There you have it folks, the first official time lapse which I have launched on this channel with my Sigma and I love it, I absolutely love that printer. This printed at 0.2 millimeter layer heights. Now it was the first time printing with Elixir on the Sigma so I still have to dial in the settings. It's not as perfect as I would like it to be but it's good enough to showcase the effects of this lamp. Now this printed in two parts, you have the top parts which has the fins and the LEDs which was printed in Polyalchemy Elixir Natural and the bottom part which is the recently released Crimson Red. Now these two come off. You have the LEDs which stick with a 3M sticker underneath between the fins. You simply cut the strip to length and then just join them with some wire all together in line. Now that wire comes out of a neat little hole which comes pre, well, printed in the bottom part. Once you close it, it's nice and neat. And all you have left is the cable that comes out. Now this is an RF controller which plugs into a five volt DC transformer. I actually used a uh, USB adapter and just spliced it to take out the uh, 5 volt cables, the negative and the positive. And it works perfectly fine. You can control this with a remote control and it's absolutely cheap. You can buy these off AliExpress or Banggood. I will leave links in the description below. However, why don't we just switch off the lights, get more cozy and see how these things work, shall we? Seriously, how awesome is this thing? This is the remote that comes with the RF controller. It has an on-off switch, you can adjust the color, the brightness, the speed, the pattern of the light, and it's freely available. If all parts of this design is available, the electronics are cheap, all you need is some Elixir Natural. And the reason why you need that particular filament is because it carries light quite particularly, which is why it looks so gorgeous when it lights up. Now, 
You might say to yourself, I don't want to buy a whole spool of natural elixir just to print that. Fair enough. I actually spoke to Judd and this kind of all started when I asked him about this and we got to talking and he said if enough people request this I am willing or he is willing to um, start producing a kind of kit you'd have a, a, a little bit of elixir natural well enough to print this and maybe a couple more rather than a whole kilo spool you'd have the electronics included in the package and also the LED lights however he's only willing to do that if enough people well sign up for it kinda or convince him to so go on Twitter tag polyalchemy and let's let's do a hashtag say northern lights yes let's let's do the hashtag northern lights so tag polyalchemy hashtag northern lights let him know that you want this as a kit now obviously you can still download the files you can print it you can buy the electronics oopsie you can buy the electronics separately it's easy it's fine it's available but why not get it all together um and you know save yourself some trouble so that is it for me guys today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Awesome Creations. I wanna thank you so much for all your support. You probably noticed that I sound a bit different and that is because I now have my new, finally, microphone. Thanks to you guys and thanks to my patrons who support me. I also want to let you know that it's official. I am going to Bay Area Maker Fair in May. So if you're there, please come by and say hi. I should be getting some swag with me, some goodies, some maker coins, some stickers. So come by and I'll probably be at the Matter Hackers booth. So make sure you come find me. In the meantime, that is it for me today. Thank you very much. Once again, please like, comment, share, subscribe. And as always, happy making, guys.